Good morning. So last week, Canva released Canva Websites, which is a brand new tool that lets you create websites easily through Canva. So today I'm going to answer the big question, is Canva Websites a WordPress killer? Rambling thoughts, thinking, rambling thoughts, thinking, running like a devil and they can't be cool. So before I give you a demo and show you just how easy it is to build a website using Canva, just a tiny bit of history and context because I think that's really interesting. I've taken this from Wikipedia but actually I didn't know most of this stuff so it's, it's useful to know. So Canva is an Australian graphic design platform used to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents and other visual content and now websites. The app includes templates for users to use. The platform is free to use and offers paid subscriptions such as Canva Pro and Canva for Enterprise. And Canva, in 2021, Canva launched a video editing tool and actually last week they just released a new update to that that lets you do background video removal which is really cool actually I haven't tried that out but I'm going to I think that the the one thing that really differentiates Canva and what makes it successful is it's so easy to use it's completely frictionless and they're bringing that lack of friction or that ease of use to websites which I'm going to show you in a few seconds founded in Perth Australia which is a lovely town if you've ever been there in 2013, in the first year, it grew to 750,000 users, so it had rapid growth. And I think the DNA of Canvas is all about ease of use. And in fact, it's a joy to use if you've ever used it. And you'll see in the demo when I go on to build a website, because I've been playing with it over the weekend. Building a website is incredibly easy with it. During the financial year 2016-17, revenue increased from 6.8 million for their pro plans to 23 million with a loss of 3.3 million. In 2017, the company reached profitability and had just under 300,000 paying customers. So that's really good going. In 2018, they raised their first bit of VC capital from Sequoia Capital, who are a very famous VC company, 40 million then, and the company was valued at 1 billion in 2018. During May 2019, the company raised another round of funding of 70 million. They were valued at 2.5 billion then. In October that year, Canvas announced that it raised an additional 85 million valuation of 3.2 billion and launched an enterprise product. So you can see the reach of this business and the investment that's gone into this business is just enormous and they are a powerhouse for sure. In 2019, Canva announced Canva for Education, which I didn't actually know about because I'm no longer in education, although my kids are. It's a free product for schools and other educational institutions. As of 2020, Canva's valuation had risen to 6 billion. This valuation grew to 40 billion in September 2021. I guess the pandemic supercharged their growth, but the co-founders announced that they were gonna give away much of their wealth to charitable foundation. 2018, the company announced that they had acquired presentation startup seatings for an undeclosed amount. In 2019, the company announced the acquisition of Pixabay and Pexels, two free stock photography companies based in Germany. Right, here's a quick demo which will show you just how easy it is to build a website using Canva. Click on websites and that will launch you into this screen. Now you can choose the type of website you want to build with these five options along here, or you've got some templates down here that you can start with. Classic sort of Canva approach to this stuff, incredibly simple. I'm actually gonna start with a portfolio website. We'll still have the template option up here actually, or layouts. So you've got templates here, and you've got layouts here. So you can start with either of those. I'm actually gonna start with a template just for speed today. And I'm gonna choose, let's choose this template here. Then you get to choose to apply to all your pages, all six pages, like so. Now, because we're just using Canva, it's incredibly simple to change all this stuff. It's all drag and drop. There's no learning curve whatsoever. So let's add my Van Gogh cat along here. Let's call this cats. And I'm gonna change this up here. So I can just drag it up. If I want this star to be up here, I can just drag it around. And this is a button. And I can link that button up here. And then I move on to the next page. Let's add my Gustav Klimt cat along here. Now by default, it won't have a menu along the top here. There are some limitations on this, which I'm gonna take you through in a bit. Uh, let's just add a few more pictures in here. Let's drag these cats along. If you can guess the artist in the comments below, then you get a gold star. Let's say I wanted that page to be taller. I can do that and move it around. It also has a nice different view, a zoom out view which is really nice. It also has a grid view, so you can see your pages by grid. You can drag and drop them along here if you want to, to change the order of them. Canva's huge selling point is there's no learning curve in this stuff. If you want to add menu along the top, you have to add a page title. So I'm just gonna add a couple in here. You write a page title, and it will take those page titles and use them as your navigation. Let's get a preview of this. Here's my preview. You see my navigation along the top here, and these are all linked up to those different sections. You can also have a mobile preview. You get the option to publish the website. Now on the free version, 
you have to publish with a free domain, which is a Canva domain essentially. But if you've got the pro version of Canva, you can actually use your own domain. Either you can purchase a new domain through Canva or you can use an existing domain. I'm just gonna use a free domain today just so I can show you the site. I'm gonna click continue and then I publish it and now I can view the website. So within about two minutes, there's my new website. So if that has got you very excited, there are a few limitations that you'll encounter when you're using Canva for websites. And I'm just gonna talk you through, these are just the ones I thought about when I was using it for a few hours over the weekend. There are bound to be more, but in no particular order. Terms and conditions. So if Canva decide one day, they wake up and they decide they no longer like cats, they have the full rights to take your website down. And as far as I can tell from reading the terms and conditions, you have no recourse. Number two, every single website that you build with Canva is actually just a one page website. The pages that I added in the editor just become mini sections within that one page. Now this has really serious implications for your search engine optimization. Number three, I can't find any way to add a logo into the site because this navigation is created automatically. You can't have a business logo up here. Number four, no e-commerce. Number five, no dynamic content. Number six, no plugins. So on the one hand, you have this product that's incredibly simple to use. On the other hand, you have this product that has severe limitations. So to answer my question at the start, which is, will Canva websites be a WordPress killer? At the moment, the answer is no, but it is gonna be very disruptive. Remember, Canva websites has already been used to build two million websites. Those two million websites are gonna take market share from existing providers like Squarespace and Wix and WordPress. Personally, I expect it to be much more of a threat to Squarespace, Wix, and other systems that let you create very simple websites. But Canva will get better. Imagine if they just switched on e-commerce one day or they bought Shopify. This combination of being incredibly simple to use and having enormous market reach gives them the potential to be massively disruptive. And then one final thought I had was, why doesn't somebody build something this simple for Gutenberg? At the moment, all the plugins we have for Gutenberg add extra options into it to let you do more stuff. They add extra complexity. Imagine if somebody built a plugin that created a Canva-like experience on top of Gutenberg. So let's call it Gutenberg Easy Mode plugin. You click on a little button and that just gives you the Canva experience, that simple experience, but using Gutenberg underneath it. So that's my rambling thoughts, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Is Canva websites a threat today, tomorrow, or at some point in the far distant future? And if you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button down below now, it'd be amazing because it really, 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 really helps spread the word of the channel. It really, really does. So thank you if you can hit that button now. And also, as you probably know by now, every time you do hit that like button below, our cats, Get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below and the little bell and you'll be notified every time I release a new one or watch one of these two videos appearing about here. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye.